Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another segment of Weather and the Bible. <laughs> so last week, we talked about severe rain. I mean, so much so that your forecast said it was going to be raining for 40 days and 40 nights. Lots of rain in last week's forecast. So hopefully, now that that forecast is behind us, we're mm -hmm. past the 40 days, 40 nights, do you have a better forecast for us? What, I what does the... have a forecast for you. <laughs> no, I said better. I said better. And I have a forecast. <laughs> this week's forecast has a rise of gnats coming from the south, a swarm of locusts coming in from the west, um, and from the north we will start to see as rivers turn to blood. Oh, among some other things, there's more, but those are the three highlights. I asked for it. A doesn't get much better. better no, nope. and I, I said I had a forecast. I think I'm going to go back to the 40 days and 40 <laughs> nights of rain because at least I know it's rain. I don't want gnats and yeah. flies and locusts. Yeah, I kind of have a thing much. with bugs. There's going to be a lot of bugs in this forecast. Mm. Lots of bugs in this upcoming forecast. So then let me guess. With this forecast, we're talking about 10... Ten things that are going to happen. I just, I just gave you three highlights. <laughs> okay. So, yes, in fact, if you haven't guessed it by now, we are going to be talking about the ten plagues, which include... <laughs> are you ready for it? Water turning to blood. Frogs. Lice. Flies. Livestock pestilence. Boils. Hail. Locusts. Darkness and killing of the firstborn child. Each one gets better than the last. <laughs> so we hope that you understand this whole series we understand is a God thing. Mm -hmm. We have the Bible to learn from and to hopefully not repeat the past, even though we do it quite often. Mm -hmm. um, but it is fun to take a closer look because there are people out there, especially scientists, that time and time again try to prove that what happens in the Bible is just scientific. It's not a God mm -hmm. thing. There are some things that relate to science because that's what we're taking a look at, God and science. Science is created by God, so all things around mm -hmm. us, hence our science or creation, right? Mm -hmm. So as we dug into the 10 plagues a little bit further, we noticed that we just got done with, you know, Noah and the flood and <laughs> an overabundance of water. Mm -hmm. But we're going to take a look at the plagues and see that the plagues might have been caused by some scientific things. Mm. Well, there are gonna be people who do try to say that this is totally scientific. So they're gonna say that the extreme drought that we have now mm -hmm. entered into is going to be the reason all these things are happening. So they're gonna say things like um, the water in the Nile turned to blood because of the drought, which created a, a certain algae that can mm -hmm. quickly spread. And this algae is red in color. And so that is what is going to give the river the uh, appearance of blood. They're also going to say that this extreme drought is the reason that all our gnats are coming up from the south. <laughs> no, but that uh, no. all these different animals are going to reproduce at a higher rate in an effort to stay viable. Um, and so it's going to give this overwhelming sense of a presence of them. They're also going to say that the, the drought is the reason that the um, livestock died because there was no water to be found. Mm -hmm. They're gonna say that a giant volcano erupted, which blocked out the sun. Um, and so then that's where we get darkness from. And so they're gonna try to say all these scientific things that happen, but how can we know that it was really God? So as we take a closer look in Exodus, which is where we are, we are in Exodus chapter, chapter seven, seven um, is where it starts talking about the 10 plagues we see that the Israelites are in captivity. They're slaves to Pharaoh, right? Mm -hmm. And so God's going, you got to let my people go. Not going to listen because there are slaves. Well, God says, okay, you want to play it this way? We're going to send some fun. <laughs> Not, my idea of fun. Not my idea of fun either. But God can use these plagues to get Pharaoh's attention to make it so that he is paying attention to what God is saying. And we know that it is God, one, because it is in the Bible, mm -hmm. and we know that the Bible is true. But two, we know it's God because these plagues happened immediately, one after the other. It is not like we had some gnats, and then, you know, maybe like three weeks later, we had some frogs, and then maybe like a month later, the livestock died. No, God sent these plagues rapidly in succession 
to get Pharaoh's attention to let his people go. Which are all these things that God uses to get his attention. So last week when we learned about Noah and the flood, God was going to start over because the world had turned so evil and forgot about him that he was going, oh, you want to forget about me? Well, let's send a giant flood that covers everything. Mm. This week, you're not going to let my people go. I'm going to send 10 very, very heavy, distinct plagues in succession so that I can get your attention to say, you need to let my people go. Yeah. So God is using, once again, weather as a means to <laughs> get his people's attention, to get people to turn from their other way, their evil ways. Mm -hmm and to show that he is God and he has the power to do these things. So I'm glad that we nowadays don't necessarily experience things like the 10 plagues. However, the cicadas <laughs> came close this summer. I mean, I we weren't in an area that we, we experienced them, but if you ask our neighbors a little bit further south <laughs> from us, they totally experienced them. My parents' church had to cancel their outdoor concert because the cicadas <laughs> were louder than the concerts. <laughs> So, I mean, I know that it was God using, you know, these things to get Pharaoh's attention, but I'm also glad that we don't have to experience them because just the sound of that many bugs being in one place at one time has got my attention. So, so creepy. <laughs> well, Jamie, thanks for this great forecast. You're this, welcome. This 10 day forecast. Yes. You're welcome. I really hope that as we continue, your <laughs> forecasts get a little bit better because so far we've had paradise ruined. Mm -hmm. We have had an entire world flooded mm -hmm. and today we've experienced yep. the 10 plague. I can promise you we will have forecasts <laughs> in the future. Join us next week and see what Jamie's forecast is all about as we discover another segment of weather and the Bible. <laughs>